Hi guys, so welcome back to today's video. So I'm sure many of you will be wondering, so I want to start investing, but how do I start? Where do I start? And what kind of steps do I take? So today I'll be going through four simple steps that will teach you how to kickstart your investment, be it with a small capital or if you have a larger capital, the steps are works the same for any beginner investors or anyone who wants to start out investing. So first, the very first step will be to decide on your investing strategy because every person will have a different investment strategy in their mind. There's no one best strategy, but at the end of the day, it's the strategy that suits you the best. So there are two generic uh, categorization of strategies available, either passive investing or active investing. So for passive investing, it is considered the easier investing decision, whereby you just follow the index. Uh, the index can be the US S&P 500, whereby you can buy ETFs such as the SPY, the VTI that uh, represents uh, and mirrors the performance of S&P. Then of course for Malaysia, there's the ETFs that mirror the KLCI. So these passive investing, the benefits is that you have a diversified portfolio because you are following either the whole index whereby for the US is 500 companies, for Malaysia it's 30 companies. So you have an exposure to a lot more companies and it's less risky for your investments to uh, go south and lose uh, too much money out of your risk. So uh, it doesn't get affected by any individual stocks because you do not just buy into the shares of one stock, but into multiple com companies. So the benefit of this is that it's easy to begin with. Anyone can do it. You just invest and on average, let's say you invest in the S&P 500 index, you get about a 7% to 8% uh, return annually. So the next type of investing is active investing. is whereby you actively dig into individual companies and do the research into each and every company that you buy into. So a lot of mistakes that beginner investors do is that they throw money into stocks that people keep raving and talking about without doing their own research. And they think and they guess that it's going to go up. And then when it actually really goes up, they'll think that they are geniuses and they are the next Warren Buffett. So the key point to bring home with active investing is that you really have to know what is the business model, what does the company do, what are their competitive advantages, is there a high barrier to entry, and other financial aspects of the, the company, whereby we call it fundamental analysis. So if you are able to uh, explain to someone why do you buy the stock and why is it a good investment and how do you choose and go about it, then that shows that you have prepared and done your research for it because you have to be willing to go the extra mile, look into annual reports, look into the company's financials, news, and a lot of deep dive into the company to see if they're profitable. So you have to look at the intrinsic value, and if the value of the company is lower than the price, then there is a margin of safety for you to buy, and it's a very likely that the stock price will go up. So after the first step on deciding your investment strategy, we move on to the set step two, which is you have to focus on an asset class or you have to look for something that you understand and like more to invest. So like I said in the previous videos, there are so many asset vehicles available for you to buy in Malaysia. So you want to pick something that you're really good at or something that you're really passionate about because you don't want to invest into something that you have no idea and don't know about the industry. So you need to be able to know about the stock or the industry that you're investing in and you can't be all over the place. So for example, you have to find one that fits your personality, your lifestyle, your budget, your capital. So for example, there are certain people who are passionate about real estate and they really like it. So maybe that uh, real estate investing would be very suitable for those people. Whereas let's say you are an introvert, you, you like to think and do your own uh, intellectual analysis, then maybe real estate is not uh, the type of investments that suit you because you have to go out and talk to your tenants, deal with the problems. Uh, maybe you have to go and find a plumber, a wiring technician whenever something happens to your house. So for people like that, maybe it's better that you focus on asset classes that you like more, that you can do research at, at the safety of your own home. So after being able to uh, decide on the asset class that you're more passionate about and you're better in, the step three is to then choose a brokerage firm. So in Malaysia, there are a multitude of brokerage firms out there, such as Rock and Trade, M Plus, and Maybank, CIMB, and of course the other local retail banks. They all have their own brokerage platform. So you have to be able to do your own research and check, does that brokerage firm suit your needs? Does it have the kind of uh, asset classes that you want? Let's say you want to invest in US stocks. Uh, does did provide you to the option to be able to buy that? Or how much are the fees that it suit your appetite if you're a long-term investor or short-term investor? Because overnight fees, holding fees, there are various these type of different, different fees hidden within the brokerage firm that you have to check into. And then lastly, which is also the most important step that a lot of people just naturally neglect is just take action. 
a lot of people after doing all the analysis, all the research, and then at the end of the day, they still don't go ahead and take action, and actually start up and register under a brokerage firm and start investing. So the most important thing is you have to uh, let go of your fear, your cautiousness, and uh, do not think that it's too troublesome to register for a brokerage firm because you have to think about the long-term benefits and the compounding interest that investments will bring you. So you really just have to get yourself into it, pull the trigger and really just throw yourself out there and gain experience. Nobody starts off being an experienced investor like Warren Buffett. Everyone has to start off somewhere and slowly build up their capital and slowly increase their passive income from investing. So you have to get your feet wet and of course, I don't expect anyone to be able to spend too much and start off with a huge capital. So even if you have 100 to 500 to 1,000 ringgit, you can start. As long as you have any amount of capital, you can just start and slowly work your way up. Build your own confidence, slowly get positive results, and eventually, everyone will be able to earn uh, the financial freedom that uh, they aspire to have. So with that being said, we have come to the end of the video. So please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more similar videos like this. And do leave a comment down below for any other topics that you wish for me to talk about in future videos. Goodbye and see you in the next video.